name is Mary Chang. I'm the director at Little Star of Broom Street, Early Childhood Programming. Even though I've been here as director for six years, every year feels like it's the first year I've been working. <laughs> Surprisingly, it keeps me on my toes, definitely. Um, we don't want to just teach to the children, but this is a process where we're all learning together, and it's a process that takes time to build. So we're really lucky in this school that we start teaching them at two years of age. At Little Star, at the end of the day, we're always about the children. And learning is something that they also have to be a part of creating. Social emotionally, how can we help families understand their child? And how do we understand the families? And I think it's that relationship building that has had such an impact on the families at Little Star. That sense of how do we make a community that it's created through this idea that it's many different people who have a hand in teaching you things. We're going to provide experiences, expose the children to more things, and in hopes that in the future, when they're old and grown, <laughs> that they will also continue that process of giving. I think that that's what that cycle of life is all about. It's not about always just taking for yourself, but about giving and sharing to others. And that's why the people that we have here are all about teaching. Their passion is about sharing what they've learned in life. Mm -hmm. I love children. The first word they say, good morning, smile at me when they come in. Very these. So each one of these flowers, this is what they're gonna turn into. Strawberry. So we need the bees and the butterflies to come over here and, and all this. And by this time, they not only learn their, uh, their animal names, they learn the colors. We have a good program, Jumpstart, uh, music for the children. In the music area, when we're singing songs, we're, especially in this room, we have a lot of children do not know how to talk yet. But they don't have the words out while they're talking, but they can sing the song along with the music. So I feel, wow, there's music in them. At the same time, they learn language. When I read the book to them, they'll say star, because they learn that word in the song, little star, twinkle, twinkle, little star. When we talk about music, it's a universal language. Right. And no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, music kind of plays with that string in your heart that you can connect to emotionally. Yes, yes. Helping children open up their minds and helping them be socially, emotionally secure in learning. We also try to create an environment that is really engaging to them, that the environment also plays with their emotions so that it can be part of the learning process as well. With some additional resources and support, we really want to create more experiences. Helping children experience more access to cultural institutions for families who are low income and need exposure to different museums that can really open the mind for children. Children and their knowledge and the knowledge around them, it should be unlimited. It should be, it should be accessible to all. When I think about children and how to meet their needs, I really think about creating new ideas, experiences, and experience is all about making connections with different types of people, whether it be different cultures, exposing them um, to new people, new places. But I think at the same time, I want it to be local enough that they can be inspired by where they are just at, being present in the moment of things and not necessarily having to access it through resources. People will fund schools like us that hope to provide access for all children. Hopefully in the future, make a difference on our community and also provide back to the community just as we did for them.